Hi everyone, Aaron Lifford with Ag Diesel Solutions here. Uh, we're going to do another field install on a John Deere S670 down in southern Indiana. Hope everybody's having a good beginning of their harvest, those that are started. Uh, for those who haven't, be sure to be smart, be safe, haste makes waste. Just take your time and be careful this season. Um, we want to go over a couple things before we start doing this install on this 9 liter power tech with our uh, 2804F uh, Ag Diesel Solutions module. Uh, just a couple things. Be sure that all your area and working conditions are clean. Don't want anybody to get hurt. Uh, be sure that all your connections snap into place as you're going through this process. And also be sure to have a good power and ground when you uh, put that up to the starter. That is very essential in the performance of the module and the performance of your machine. So we're going to get started here. As we begin this process, we're going to go step by step as to what is listed in your manual in your instruction guide. Uh, first things first, it's going to tell you to unplug the fuel injection plug. On your tractor, this is going to be on the right hand side, but on the combine it's going to be facing towards you in your service door. As you can see right here, it's the same location as on a tractor or combine. You unplug it right off the side of the block there, and that is eight pins. So it's an eight pin female going to a male on the engine side. So what you do is you take the female from our harness, plug it straight into the male on the engine. And as you can see, you heard it click, snap, locked in and secure. Then you take the female portion from the existing harness of the engine and you plug into the male portion on our harness. And as you can see that clicked in, everything's locked in and secure, ready to go. For step two, we'll show you guys how to plug in the map sensor portion of our harness. Uh, that's also located in your installation manual, but we'll show you here. It'll show you on the left-hand side of the engine, you've got two similar plugs that look the same. you got one at an angle and one that's flat coming out of the head of the engine. That is going to be your map sensor. That is a three-pin plug. Of course, it's the same as the injection plug. It'll be male on the engine side, female on the harness side. So same principles, you take the female portion of our harness and plug it straight in to the engine itself. As you said, we heard it click, it's good to go. And then you take the existing portion of the female harness from the engine and you plug in the male portion of our harness. And step two is complete. That's all secure. We're ready to move on to the power ground on the starter, which is on the back side of the engine towards the grain tank itself. All right, we just finished our final and third step um, with the install here, and that is putting the ground and power strap wire to the starter. Uh, that takes an 18 millimeter socket. Uh, of course, on these starters, on your studs, you've got a jam nut that holds the factory terminals on, and you got a nut on the outside of that. Generally, we just take that outer nut off put our terminal from our harness on there and crimp it in between the two nuts. Um, sometimes you'll find on these, whether it be the power or the ground strap, which is generally the ground strap, that stud sometimes wants to unthread out of the engine itself. So if that happens and you can't get those nuts off, uh, just go to another ground source. Uh, in this case, we went to the ground strap on the frame from the engine to the frame, which is perfectly fine too. That's down on your support system for the engine itself. That's a 13 millimeter uh, bolt we just went there that's fine too you just want a good constant ground source um, other than that everything's fine another thing I wanted to touch base on too this harness it notes and in the instruction manual to go on the front side of the engine please do not go over the top like around the turbo or any place like that where there's going to be high heat where it's going to be in direct contact uh, so we ran it on the front side like it's supposed to and we'll go around and tie it to the hydraulic hoses to keep away from the engine even farther and uh, following we'll zip tie everything up and be ready to go this finishes the install for our module number 2804F on this 9 liter John Deere engine, an S670 combine. Uh, we went through and bent tied everything up, out of the way, tried to keep it along factory wiring harnesses. As you can tell here, you're going to have some excess harness there, just zip tie that up, kind of bind it up together and zip tie it and keep it out of the way, keep everything tight. Uh, up here on this uh, map sensor wire, we zip tied it to factory harness to keep it down from the exhaust the intake and the turbo keep it down close um, pretty well that sums everything up also be sure that when you do mount your module as you can see we mounted here on this tube make sure it's on high 30 percent uh, we have seen before that they are on stock 
and some people don't realize that, but just be sure to go through and set it on high at 30%. That's where you're going to get your best performance and best fuel return. We want to thank you guys again for joining us for another install video. We hope everything's going good where you're, where you're at. As you can tell, it's a little hot, <laughs> sweltering here, but we got through, got it done. Uh, should be great results soon from another happy customer. Uh, we want to make sure that you guys follow us on Facebook and YouTube. And also check us out on our website, agdieselsolutions.com. Uh, we want to thank you guys again. Stay tuned for other videos. We do have some others posted. We're going to try to get as many posted for you here by the end of the year. Maybe it will fit your needs and your fits and your application that you may be using it for. Uh, one last thing before we go, I want you guys to remember to farm smart, farm efficient, and farm with Ag Diesel Solution. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.